Hello team and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'm going to tell you about the a day in the life of DevOps engineer. So I will explain you from morning to evening till I am in my work shift. What are the kind of things that I perform every day on like uh, on on an average day? Okay. So before starting that video, I would request you to subscribe to the channel. We upload videos on daily basis or at least we try to. Also, I have a telegram channel which uh, uh, which is many to many. That means anyone can send messages to that so i would request you to join that uh, group and the reason that i ask you to join that group because you can ask any questions queries or any issues if you are having you can just push put the uh, the, the message there i am very active on that uh, as well as my other team members so we will try to answer your queries okay plus if you are having any specific topic you want a video to be made on you can just put that message also in the telegram group and we will try to make a video on that okay so link you will find in the description and you can join it from there okay now coming to today's topic so i will explain you what is my day to day task or like basically like daily routine that i do on an average day okay okay team so starting with the morning which is 9:30 so i actually log in at around 9:30 and as soon as i log in uh, first thing that i do is check my outlook for emails usually the if there is any urgent email so that i need to check else i will just check if there are any uh, specific emails which i have missed okay once i check emails then i will go to my microsoft teams and check if there is any messages that i have missed okay so after checking these two things these two things i will go to jira okay in case uh, you do not know what exactly is jira jira is a platform which basically used to create tickets okay so in corporate what happens be it devops engineer or any developer everyone works everyone's work is tracked by a ticket okay what exactly happens in jira a ticket is generated with description of the work and if i am working on that specific task i will assign that ticket to myself and so that other uh, my my manager or other team members can see ki, okay aditya is working on these task okay because everything will be mentioned the progress how much i have completed in that ticket itself okay so i will go to jira platform and see if there are any new tickets which i need to work on okay so uh, also like since uh, uh, one ticket may be used for multiple days that means because uh, like it takes a lot of time to uh, complete a task so uh, like whatever my pending task is there i will just continue okay and i will check if there is any new ticket or not okay so once this is this uh, this is done so this is the first part i would say uh, morning routine checking things and uh, like just checking if everything is okay or not secondly what happens we have a daily stand up meeting okay so it in short it is known as d stum d stum is is a kind of meeting that happens on daily basis where all the team members gives update what kind of task they are currently working on okay so that goes for like 15 to 20 minutes and everyone will give task and if like you will also update kyunki i am working on these kind of task and i have completed these things okay and there if you are facing an issue you can just mention ki your to manager ki okay i need help with this task and they will assign someone else also with you so that the task can be completed okay so this is the two things in in the morning that i do which is like uh, morning routine for checking mails uh, teams and tickets secondly like uh, updating the uh, team members and as well as manager in our dstum meeting which is daily stand up meeting okay okay so next up what happened ki since we are having multiple projects okay so they are uh, deployed in a specific uh, uh, like infrastructure environment So next, what I do, I try to check that or monitor that infrastructure if everything is running fine or not. That basically we do using Grafana. So Grafana we have already set up, and ju I just go and check the reports, check the dashboard. If there is any issue, specific issue that is uh, occurring or not in the uh, 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 like the environment in inside which our application is deployed. Okay, so that I will check uh, using that Grafana. Okay, also if there is any issue, I will try to either fix it. or if i am not able to understand that i will connect to my senior and check with him how we can fix the issue okay so this thing we, this is coming in the as a third thing third task that is like infrastructure management okay monitoring and management okay okay then we have the most important thing which is ci cd so basically we do not create new ci cd pipelines every day instead we update or modify the existing ci cd pipelines okay so sometimes we may receive requirement okay ki you need to add trivi stage for docker scanning so we will start working with our ci cd pipelines and add the stage test it in a lower environment if it is for working fine then we will do the same thing to push the changes uh, in that ci cd pipeline 
to push the changes to a production environment or higher environment okay so this basically there's a long process for that like once we test in uh, lower environment dev or qa environment then we will have to raise a task to get approval ki this this specific kind of changes we are going to update in production environment so once approval is there okay then what we will do we will take a small amount of downtime for the application to go down and then we will deploy the changes in the ci cd pipelines to uh, the production server okay so these are the kind of things that i will do using C in ci cd pipelines okay as i mentioned not every day we, we uh, create new pipelines instead we just modify or update the pipelines based on the requirement okay okay so next up we have configuration management so this does not happen every day but like once in a while we will just get a request from uh, like manager or somewhere ki we need to update something in our uh, servers okay so that usually we do with ansible so we will uh, like we already have the ansible playbook script we will make changes there and as per the script we will uh, like update the configuration okay on the servers okay so this does not happen every day but once in a while we will receive a request ki okay uh, aditya you and uh, certain team member you need to work together to update these kind of changes on the uh, server okay so same thing like uh, we will do the changes in the lower environment then approval then get approval and then uh, update the changes in uh, higher environment or production environment okay so this 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 task basically happens with uh, we work with ansible for configuration management okay but there are other tools uh, but for me i work with uh, this one only okay okay so then next we have uh, infrastructure as code thing that also does not happen every day like once in a while uh, we will receive a request from client ki we want a server a provision or any specific resource resource provision with cert, uh, certain tools already installed okay so we use grafana uh, sorry we use terraform for provisioning resources and uh, like we will uh, create a new resource sorry we will provision a new resource and we will update the engagement okay so as i mentioned this this also does not happen every day like once in a while we will receive a request ki we want this resource to be created we want this many vms to be created so we will use terraform scripts if needed we will modify the terraform script and then we will provision the resources and uh, like create the resources and share the uh, those resources with the engagement or the client whoever has requested for it okay so that also does not happen every day but uh, like once a week or, or like uh, bi weekly it it happens okay as per the engagement requirement okay okay so next we have monitoring and logging so this also this basically need to be done on regular basis or actually i would say like on daily basis i would say because like um, for monitoring we use grafana and prometheus prometheus for collecting data, uh, uh, prometheus as a data source okay so we have multiple applications deployed but like there is a specific application which is used for our purpose like we create our own pipelines we keep our source code there so for uh, for that platform we use grafana to monitor if it is working fine or not if there is any issue or not okay so using grafana dashboard we will check the get the results and we will like analyze the uh, whatever uh, like information we receive and if everything is fine then it's okay if not then we will check for issues and we will try to fix it okay so basically like we just need to get uh, do this every day check that everything is running fine using the uh, like monitoring and logging tools okay okay so uh, next we have incident uh, response and troubleshooting okay so as i mentioned in the beginning like we have a jira ticketing tool which is uh, which is uh, like used for uh, like tracking for uh, tracking work okay so what happens if there is uh, there any there are any engagement who is facing issues with pipelines or the devops tools that we provide so they, what they can do they can raise a ticket in jira and we will be getting email notifications ki a ticket is created and we need to work on it so what we do we will just like assign the ticket to ourselves or any team member who is available and we will start working on it okay so that ticket will be containing the uh, like error description this uh, error is coming and we need to fix it okay so if we are able to understand complete thing from the ticket itself then it's fine if not we will connect to engagement on uh, microsoft teams if required over a call then we will understand the requirement understand the issue that is uh, causing problems and then what we do we try to fix it from our end okay so basically like troubleshooting and incident response that is not sure ki will happen every day but almost like uh, once in two days or so there there are like multiple tickets are getting raised and we need to assign it assign it to ourselves and we need to fix those issues okay 
next we have a very interesting task which is documentation okay so incorporate basically whatever things you are working on if a project is like very like kind of big then whatever new task you are working on you need to basically uh, document it and put it somewhere so basically in mo most corporate uh, uh, organizations there is a tool known as confluence which is used for like uh, documentation okay so whatever docu documents you are creating you can keep those documents on confluence okay so that is very common practice like whatever new things like let's say i'm working on a poc poc is like a proof of concept and a new topic is assigned to me i need to create a demo and implementation then the steps that is used there what i will do i will document it and put it in confluence page okay so uh, confluence is one of the tools that is used for documentation another tool we have is sharepoint so we have like the, we keep documentation on sharepoint also okay and finally we have the something that i or any team other team members do for their own self which is self learning so if still if you are getting time what we do we use that time or utilize that time to learn something from the project or learn something uh, which whichever is required to us for example it could be like uh, training that we need to uh, attend uh, from company or something like for example i i used to spend a lot of time for learning myself learn, learning for myself and i need you used to learn a lot of devops tools and technology in my free time okay so if you are if you have available free time you need to work and once you are done this thing every day what we used to do is log our time okay there is a thing a tool known as time sheet in a corporate organization where you need to work your time what are the things you worked on for example let's say i worked on three tickets and it uh, usually like we need to log like nine hours every day okay so what we do we will uh, three 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 uh, three hours three hours two tickets and rest three hours i will just put it like uh, self learning or like uh, doing any other task those kind of things i can just put so we need to log every day how much time we have worked on and we need to complete like nine hours every day okay yeah so these are pretty much like tasks that i used to do uh, on daily basis in my organization okay and one thing one piece of advice that i will give you definitely is if you are working in corporate do not work outside your shift that is not so good that is going to be really, really uh, after a certain point it will become very irritating for you okay so me and my team members we try to work uh, in our shift hours only and that is the best thing because eventually if you are working outside your shift hour it mixes up your work life balance and it causes lot of problems it causes for me it was like very much irritation previously but now it's good so i'm happy okay so that's it for today's video and i hope the video was useful so thanks for watching and have a nice day and keep learning devops